Hey guys. All right, I know lighting is really weird and it makes my eyes look more buggy, but <laughs> it's just coming to me and so I just wanted to jot it down because videos are taking, there's like a lot of lag time. So anyway, um, it's really, it's really true that the, the best revenge is, um, oh gosh, I'm terrible about this. I'm not terrible about it. I'm forgetful about it. How does, how to, how these phrases go. It's something about like finding your happiness again is, is the best revenge. And it's like, that wasn't my, really my motive when so much of this stuff all started. A lot of it was that I wanted to, I wanted to be, I, there were like different, different things happened along, along the way. I don't I don't need to like unwrap all that, but, um, okay. I'm trying to, to figure out something up. It's like so much of it is just the way of the world, the way it is, the way that we are with each other and, how scary and hard it is to be vulnerable because, and to even be honest sometimes is because that's a power. That's a, that's actually, to me, that's what's coming to me now. It's like, that's actually a power that you have because if you, because to be able to speak and stand in your truth and continue that journey, you are strong and then it continues to make you stronger because you're continuing to sharpen your discernment. You're not willing to just fall for anything. You're not willing to just listen to whatever anybody says. Like you're think you're learn you're you're sticking to your guns and being willing to learn and discern everything on your own. And you're probably all of these things go together if you're on this path anyway. But all these kinds of crazy things will happen along the way, whereas like people still try to get in. And it's not that there's something like I don't want to say right and wrong. Like, I don't want to say there's something wrong about that, but it's, it's just, it's very interesting on my end to like observe this and, and because if you're changing and growing, if you're becoming more introverted, more introspective, more to yourself, more silent, it's like people don't know how to approach you. And that's the thing. It's so interesting because it's like, there may be people who just refuse to see you a different way and they just literally can't fathom it or I don't know how that works exactly. And then also there may just be people who just still do the same things because it's patterned or they don't know how else to, to like handle it. And I don't know what where the um, compelling factor comes in of like needing to make comments or like say something. I don't know. I don't know how, I don't know how that part works exactly, but I said like months ago, and I learned this early on with the whole, when I started first taking goddess classes, that it was like, I don't know exactly how it's supposed to happen because that's not in my hands, but I know that the right per the, the right person for me will come to me and it'll be like, we have a, a face-to-face conversation and that's, but that's terrifying for people that aren't ready for that. But that to me, okay, so that was the other part that I was going to say is that as much as it's, I can't imagine what that's like having to like feel like you fumbled something as a man. But again, it's always, always, always a higher reason for that. And I kept there, there have been many, many times of like different relationships, different people like coming into my mind and I kept having, I kept sitting with it and it was like this back and forth and I kept like pushing it away because I was like no I want sovereignty I want to be able to do figure things out for myself I want to be able to stand on my own I don't want someone to come in and try to rescue me because I've had that happen before and these different things and it still is very hard because sometimes you're just picking up on like I don't know how it works exactly I just know because I've, I've felt it many different times of like other people thinking about you or their projections or whatever that's a big part of this whole experience and learning how to like let it go, move, get it out of your energy. But, um, there's so much, there's so much that, that I, I see and have seen. And I even thought, I think it's, it just seems strange to like this whole twin flame concept. And 
there's people that say that it's like your the twin flame journey is a self journey. It's you learning how to balance and marry those parts of you because as soon as you get to that place, it's not you there's not this desperation for another person. And it doesn't mean that there's not moments of loneliness, but that's that relationship that you're building with yourself and with the divine and there's just something it's not there's all kinds of other kind hard things you're going to have to move through, but That's such a beautiful thing to have. And like I said, okay, thank you. It's like full circle back around to like, that's your revenge. I don't like thinking of it as revenge because, but that's just, that is the, that is how it is here because it's a power game and people are going to betray you and be jealous and do all these kinds of crazy things behind your back. And by the time you realize that you're like, well, dang, I'm, I only got me. And you know, again, you might have some, you might have these arms cannot hold this phone forever you might have some people who've been ride or die with you like I have my son like he's been ride or die in my life you know like and I I believe that there are other people out here that that are are able to support me and not there not be this kind of jealous combative energy but you just start to see more and more and more how it's like instead of it being like people like just want to respect you or appreciate you the more that you go do you go along this journey and the more that you keep to yourself the more that it pisses people off and it's just again it's just the way we are because you're 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 not you're not open you're not in a sense you're not you're i feel like in some ways um your energy is lighter and you're more playful like i feel like I'm, i have that ability to be way more playful now but it's like you also just aren't taking like you don't put up with anything. You don't put up with BS. You don't just want to shoot the shit. Like you just, and your energy just gives that off that you're just like, no, just no disrespect is allowed here. And I don't want to have small talk. Like, it's like, I don't, I'm not saying that I, I say that that's just, that's like the energy that you give off in some way or another. And so it's like, well, people are, it's easier to get offended and take it personal. of just like, well, they, they're snooty and they just don't, uh, they think they're too good for me. And that's not it at all. It's just, <laughs> there is that. I mean, I, I, I love having chats with strangers. I love it. I mean, that's, that's okay. That's, that's one last thing I'm going to add is that it is what it is because this is the world that we live in. And I don't know that it, you know, you may create this environment where it's just mostly you and your soul tribe and you live in like a hut village and you just don't deal with the outside world or something. Like, I'm just trying to think of a scenario, like a hypothetical situation that is possible. But like, aside from that, it's like, this is the world that we live in. And what I've noticed, like the more that I just tune out and don't let other people's projections or whatever bother me, the more that I can be and engage with the people who are in my aura, in my presence that I come across. And appreciate them and like it allows me to like pour into whoever is around me and it's like I just have to accept that there's not anything you can do about envy because it's inside of someone's in their heart they have to work that out so it all comes back to that relationship with yourself but you realize all of these other things as you go along and how hard it is for us to really be genuinely honest and have that what is that that radical honesty in conversation um, and communication and allow open, like, cause you're opening your heart. You're giving that person power, period. If you're, if you're vulnerable with them, you're saying, Hey, this is a very, very scary thing. It's very sensitive. You could easily hurt me if I, I let you in, if I let, the, if I let you see this part of me, um, and I'm trusting you that you're, that you're going to take care of me. And, but that's also why it's so profoundly beautiful and it allows for intimacy to breed and and come about and that's the only way for that to happen but it's we're primal like we're we've we've all especially if you are healing and stuff there is so much survival so um i don't think it should be about the vengeance it's just that that's the ultimate like blessing let's just put it that way thank you that's the ultimate blessing because you realize that as fucking hard as some of the moments were and as excruciating and as like much as you wanted to like rip your skin open or just I don't know, I'm sorry sorry if that's TMI it's just like there are moments where you're just like I can't take this you realize that it's like 
we are so deeply programmed and we went through so much turmoil as a child, but we were also very sensitive and it took, it takes your whole life. You're ho- probably he- doing this healing work your entire life going forward. So it's like, there's just this acceptance of like, I can't blame anybody else anymore. And I just have to move through this. And the blessing is that I learn how to love myself and be happy and be able to br- like pour into pour that same happiness in, into other people and just do my best to move around and let go of the people who want to hate me because that's, that's the world. That's like everyone who's not, um, anyways, there's no way to fully get to, and that's the other part of this. Like there's so much that you just have to like, let it slip, let it, let it roll off your shoulders because you just don't even want to like dissect it or try to, you know, think about it anymore because that person had a bad day or they were pissed at seeing you happy or whatever it is. Just like, you're like, whatever, man. Like I'm still, I want to focus in on keeping, keeping on, keeping on and like keeping myself happy. Um, it's a job. It literally is like so crazy. Cause I had that, I, I come back to that. And I'm like, it's literally a job to do this, do the, do these things. And like, I was even thinking about it in regards to like being a parent. I'm like, that to me is is still my, not my like main job and like among other things. And it's like, it is, that's the other part. It's like, no one knows what you're going through or the fact that, you know, you may be very low on resources or whatever, but they just see you as this bright light and they don't know how to take it or whatever, you know? And so it's like, I'm going to, I'm going to stop jabbing now, but like, that's just, it's so, it, there's just not art words for it. It's, it's very profound. And you realize that with this whole experience is that that whole twin flame thing is really just about balancing out your energies and coming back to yourself and loving yourself and linking up with your inner child and your higher self and finding purpose and being able to be happy and in higher vibrations and give that to those who are, who, uh, in, to anybody who can, who can receive it. Um, and that's, that's the other thing. Like, it's just a detached kind of thing of like, here, like take this gift and do what you wish with it. You know, it's like, it doesn't even matter. It's like, take this knowledge if you want it. It's just, it's like this open kind of like, it's almost like an invitation, like take this if you want and, and allow it to transform you or, you know, whatever it is. And it's like, but if it doesn't, if they're not ready to receive it or they, or they don't want it, then that's cool too. Um, cause yeah, other people, it's like, they see you, I think it's like something like they think that you're lucky and that you're like all this huge success person, but it's like, they don't understand that no one else can see what you're going through. And that it's like, you're constantly being challenged to, to, to stay focused and continue upgrading and all of these things too. So it's just, it's just the path that you're on. And being able to find like contentment and happiness and gratitude we'll end it there is is really the gift you are the gift that's someone else's words oh no someone else's words and i'll end it there all right good night